morning. This is the Eager Beaver Show. You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors, The Misfee Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, your uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community, and The Peppermaster, hot pepper sauces made from farm-fresh ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. And hello, kids, and welcome to season four and episode number. Uh, I actually don't know. Are we at 400? 396. 396 of the Daily Beaver Morning Show here on the Cryer Media Network. Yeah. Today, recording day is Tuesday. I really lost in my dates and times today, kids. Uh, <laughs> I'm a, uh, yes, uh, Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. And it's a beautiful day here at the Beaver Lodge. Uh, if I look like I'm a little discombobulated, I am because right now I'm staring at my screen and I'm seeing the countdown with 20 seconds on it. So I can't see Mr. Grizzly. I can't see comments coming in. Uh, my computer is completely frozen. <laughs> well, you're, I can see you and I can hear you. So. Yep. But I have no idea what's going on. So, and I'm, and, and for me, it looks like I'm not talking to anyone right now. So it's kind of, it's very weird. Um, a big thank you goes to our podcast founding sponsors, The Pepper Master, The Miss V Mysteries from Corbin Moon Publishing, and CanadianTarot.com. We have our regular Tuesday show for you, but, uh, before we do anything else, Mr. Grizzly, how's your mental health today? Good morning, Mr. Beaver. My mental health today. Hmm. Hmm. Yesterday was uh, not a great day. Oh. No. It, um, you know, the, the, the whole... Uh, had a very early start yesterday. I was in the office at 7, uh, and I'm going to have to be there at 8, so this won't be a long show today, and I apologize. It's just been, it's a crazy work, work week for me, and I only have this week and next week, and then I don't know what I'm going to be doing. And that's, you know, it's all these people that I work with who, who I've been working with for the last few years are, are no longer be a part of my life on a daily basis, and that's a real gut punch, along with the unknown um, yeah, I'm struggling right now. I am. I'm not going to lie. I, I am struggling right now. I know I'll be okay, but it's, it's the, you know, it's, it's the difficult period where, where you have to transition from one part of your life to another and you literally have no say in any of it. So yeah, that's where I am. I'm, I'm struggling. Although that being said, I do feel better this morning than I did yesterday. So mm -hmm. that, that's a step in the right direction. Yesterday was a really difficult day for me. Today, I think, will be uh, joyful and happy. And uh, even though I am still dealing with all of this, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I hope it gets lighter. I hope it gets lighter. I, I, uh, like you say, I know, it, like you say sometimes, first world problems, but I yeah. mean, oh, this, yeah. but transitions are hard and especially if they're not voluntary yeah yeah um so yeah yeah 
and then of course there's always the unknown and then facing another new day one as we keep saying so which are yeah. uh, it, it's all suckage i mean it's unavoidable suckage it's part of life but it's still suckage yeah it is so, you know that's and that's exactly what it is you know yeah yeah i i, I feel you uh oh, yeah mine uh my mental health is is good overall um stressing a little bit not because of anything me specifically uh but uh my beaver sweetie tends to worry a lot and since we talk a lot uh, a lot of that sort of gets transferred on to me uh right. every now and then and uh there are times where um well i'm hardwired for optimism and happiness mm. so was, i i don't like to worry right unless i actually know i have something to worry about well you know, last I, but, night I, I wasn't able to do the asmr i wasn't in the right headspace for it so that'll give you an idea of how i'm doing right now yeah, yeah. i couldn't talk about it so i I'd, i'm you know like what where are you at right now uh overall i'm good I, I, there's just like two things um anything having to do with renovations yeah, because now as soon as as soon as the conversation starts, there's like this feeling of dread. It's like, oh, what now? What's the problem now? Apparently, in North right. America, the three most stressful things in life. Apparently, and I don't know if if this is still the same order. I read this a few years back. Where number one was uh, divorce. Yep. Number two was moving. Yep. And number three was renovations. Yep. And I'm sure a wedding is up in there somewhere too. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah, those there are uh, things we can all identify with. I guarantee you. Oh yes, oh yes. So, but siding is being applied to the house at mm -hmm. the moment now. So the house, which has been sort of, well, not naked, but in their underwear <laughs> for about a month, um, it's finally being uh, cited. Uh, then we're looking around, and there's some of the insulation, uh, the foam board insulation that sort of has some creases in it. Mm -hmm. So Alex is worrying because he's wondering if it's starting to disintegrate because it's been exposed to light for about a month or a little over a month or whatnot. And the guide says, uh, you know, 30 days. Mm -hmm. It's going to be 30 days and a week or so. Yeah, so then check with your contractor. Well, we have. He says mm -hmm. there's nothing to worry about. Okay. Take him at his word. That's what I want to do, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. my beaver sweetie is a scientist. Right. So he's going to go and study everything there is to know about that particular product and what its shelf life is exposed to the UV rays and then go back and school everybody, isn't he? <laughs> he is a doctor after all. He is a PhD. Not so much school, but worry Teach. that... Wor no, no, not wor worry that it's like, um, I read up on this and it says this and yeah. he's under the assumption that something is wrong. Well, I, can, more, I can tell you, contractors love it when you do that to us. <laughs> I know. I read up on this and, uh-huh, that's lovely. Yes. And I know you're a really smart, educated individual, but I've been doing this for 30 years. The, the, a little bit of knowledge can be a dangerous yeah. thing thing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we're... we're <clears throat> and we've already, we've already been called into the office to have a talk. Yeah. So right. maybe maybe have him back off a bit right now. I'm just saying. Well, yes, but now I have somebody. The the, the consequence of that is now I have somebody who's worried that uh, about a thirty dollar thirty thousand dollar investment is basically all for naught as we're putting siding above it, and right. there's only me to talk to. Yeah. So. Okay. Fair enough. I get mm. it. I get it. So. Um, that's a little heavy, and I have to admit that until I'm going to be, because it really looks like I'm going to need a new computer, everything again is frozen. I've I brought up all my stories and brought up all my notes, and it's on the side computer there, but I can't click on anything because nothing is moving. <laughs> so, uh, get a Mac try, Mini. Get a Mac yeah. Mini M2. You won't regret it. 
so the the flying by the seat of my pants, uh, MacGyvering, uh, trying to do a show, and not being at the best, and not having everything set, uh, it, it it actually makes me nervous. And I actually have been listening to the last couple of shows, and uh, I'm terrible, actually. So I am so sorry. <laughs> But uh, I will get this fixed at this end uh, as soon as I can. There's just a lot going on uh, to make it a, a trip into somewhere. But mm -hmm. I will uh, g get it fixed as soon as I can. But I, I do apologize because I, you know, uh, I tried doing it for the other one and then I listened to it and the sound there was terrible. So I oh, and dude, you have no crappy, idea. Crappy visual I, I, and crappy sound. I'm going to go for crappy visual. I, I ran, I ran it through the uh, algorithm to fix the sound, and that was the best I could get it. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just, if you had heard what I heard when it was when we were recording, I could barely understand anything you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. So, uh, please uh, be patient with us over the next little while while we try to get this all fixed. Uh, but we will get it all fixed. All right. Uh, so yeah, those are the two things that have sort of been like weighing on my mind. But other than that, everything's great. You know, we got started on a garden. We've got a peony bloom. The siding is going up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all, all the other stuff is going well. The, the mental health walk. It's just these two things, but it's like just. <sighs> yeah, well, I'll put the sign yes. up again, the mental health walk. Yes, indeed. It's uh, June 15th, 2024. Uh, we've got the route mapped out. That's a, that was a that was a that was a rhyme, and I didn't even realize it. The route is mapped out, and we will uh, start at noon and do our walk, and then at three o'clock we will be doing our podcast. Uh, we're going to start. It'll be a dry event to begin, and well, we have some guests there, in, in out of respect for their wishes, which we're happy to do, I'll have the Guinness Zero, uh, and actually, after a five k walk, a Guinness Zero would be very rehydrating. Mm -hmm. So, and we don't know what the weather's going to be like. Uh, that's two weeks out, so there's no way to predict. Hopefully, it'll be not raining. Uh, yeah. Then again, it is Ottawa. It could be 37 degrees. I have no idea. So we'll say, you know, if you can make it out on the 15th, we'll be meeting on the uh, uh, east parking lot of the Museum of Civilization, just just at uh, Metcalf and uh, Natural History. You mean? No, it's museum. Museum of Nature, sorry. Museum, Museum of, of Nature. Nature. Okay. Yeah. Museum of Nature. Okay. My apologies. Yes. Civilizations in hell. <laughs> That's downtown yes. hell. Museum of Nature at uh, Metcalf and I can't remember what the cross street. Argyle. Is it Argyle? Argyle. I Argyle. believe so, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll meet at the east parking lot and then uh, walk the route from there, finish at Lieutenant's Pump and have a pubcast. We'll have an interview process. We'll shoot video and do some live stuff along the way. So it's going to be a fun day. So yeah, you want to have your comfortable walking shoes, uh, some comfortable clothes. You'll have to make a decision on game time decision because we don't know what the weather's going to be like and bring water with you. Yes. Because this, this is a, a grassroots thing. We're just doing it this year. We're going to see if we can raise a little bit of money, but uh, we don't have official charity status and we didn't have time to, to put an official plan together. It's just a bunch of people going for a walk to raise some mental health awareness. And that is what it's all about. Yep. And uh, if you want to participate kits wherever you are, you can, if you're not in Ottawa, just uh, call a friend, um, especially if you're a guy or male identifying in our audience, call someone, preferably another guy or male identifying person, because we want to try to normalize talking amongst each other. But if not, call anyone, go for a walk and talk. It's a good idea. Uh, and I see. And then uh, take pictures. Yep. Post it to the net. Hashtag mental health walk. And uh, yeah, let us know what you're doing. And if, it doesn't have to be at the same time we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Even if you're in Ottawa, if you can't make it for noon, if you want to go for a five o'clock or an evening stroll, do it. Doesn't have to be 5K if you're doing mm -hmm. it at your place. We were suggesting 5K because that's, you know, that gives a nice time for a chat. Uh, the one in Australia is 25, so you know yeah, that allows for a good, a good long chat. We're not but, we're gonna we're not gonna do a 25k right out of the gate. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it's just the point is to make, dedicate some time, mm -hmm. you know, to talk. Like, there's nothing else to do, no other distractions. You just talk. 
So in, in response to your question, Michael, Michael Pilon has a question here. It's on the screen. I don't know if you can see it, sir. Is there any way to get an email out with the details for those of us going or a link in X? Yes, we will uh, post the details on the True Eager uh, Facebook page and yep. the True Eager uh, X link. Uh, and I will also have that on my Twitter as well. So, or X yeah. or Zitter or whatever we're calling it today. I don't even know. Yeah, and we're uh, going to yes, have we'll, some we'll content. We'll that. And we're going to have some content in the lean up. Uh, uh, some of the people that we uh, want to work with and have agreed to work with us will be on the show. And uh, uh, hopefully we'll be on Dean's show. Uh, hopefully uh, some of our T-shirts. We, uh, we have a, a friend of mine, Andrea Lalonde, here in Kingston, who is uh, uh, printing uh, some uh, shirts, uh, a few of us, a few of them, so that we could have some stuff to identify ourselves for photos and oh, whatnot cool. to help for promotion for next year and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll get those uh, very soon. And uh, like I said, we'll be on a Dean's show at some point uh, in the lead up to help promote it uh, on a larger scale. So mm -hmm. uh, there'll be uh, lots of information uh, coming out uh, over the next uh, few days uh, about it and more opportunities to hear about it. But yes, we will uh, put something all together. Uh, that's available online for people to uh, to find out more. And yes, Sean, you just have to do it 200 times. <laughs> he says it's 25 meters to my kitchen. Does that count? Yep, 200 times. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Whatever works, man. Hmm. All right, let's get to the news because there is a bucket load of it. Yeah, and, and we we are tight on time because we got to be shut down at 7.45 because i got to get into the office for 8. Uh, tomorrow, I think we might have to pre-record this evening for tomorrow because I have to be in the office at 7 tomorrow because tomorrow is hell day, <laughs> for want of a better term. If I get out before 7 p.m. tomorrow, I'll be happy. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have to record something tonight, sir, if that's at all possible. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. It, I don't know what we'll do. I haven't, like... This week is just a nightmare for me. Uh, let's let's talk about. Um, so I, I saw something uh, earlier. I, uh, okay. No, just a second. I just have I have a graphic I'm going to put on the screen here. Yeah. Uh, somebody says this perfectly describes Marjorie Taylor Greene, and uh, I'll put the graphic on the screen. Uh, it's wonderful, faithful, amazing, patient, dynamic, creative, thoughtful, strong, fantastic. Now, there are um, each each one of those words has a letter that's in red. Put the red letters together. <laughs> and mm. that perfectly describes Marjorie Taylor Greene. So to pick each letter, so we start with wonderful W. From faith, we take H. From amazing, we take A. From patient, we take T. From dynamic, we take A. From creative, we take C. Oh, I think you know where this is going. See you next Tuesday, Marjorie. I thought you'd get a kick out of that, sir. <laughs> Off air me does. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it. I know, I know, I know. Uh, it's it's really hard to take the high road. Oh, it really is. With her, it's like, I just want to get into the ditch and get down and get dirty it's because just... the, the, her, her verbal assault... Mm. On Dr. Anthony Fauci in Congress. Yep. It's yeah. It's just like, you don't deserve to be called doctor. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just, uh, she just, yeah, that, that's clearly, that's clearly performing for attention. Oh, yeah. It's clearly performing for attention, uh, which is where we're at these days. Um, all right. Uh, lots going on. Uh, number one, um, happy Pride Month. Yes, uh, that's right. Yeah. And uh, for everyone celebrating uh, and everybody sharing in our joy in our celebrations. Thank you very much. Uh, also, uh, because these are the times, along with Happy Pride Month, is uh, <sighs> buckle up for a whole month. You're going to get a whole bunch of people whining about why it is we all get a Pride Month because they can't seem to understand that in every city it's still just a Pride Day, but because we don't all celebrate it on the same day like Christmas, mm -hmm. it's actually a Pride Month or even a Pride season. Well, and then, of course, uh, Pride takes place in September in Ottawa because very val valid reasons for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or is it end of August? 
I think it's end, end of yes, August. Sorry, end of August. My apologies. End, end, of, end of August. August yes, yeah. like this. And uh, Winnipeg just had theirs, you know, at uh, the beginning of June. So, uh, but there's yeah, you know, this there's this one person on the uh, one troll account on internet that was uh, on on Twitter that was sort of like you know, oh great, it's the start of the season where like men expose themselves to children and all that kind of stuff, and like sit there and it's like oh yeah, you know, and it's one of those tweets where you can just like replace the word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. with something else and then turn it and flip it on them uh so you know it's like the people who are triggered oh great happy beginning whole month of people triggered by rainbows you know, blah, blah 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 right this is what we're this is what we face right we can't just celebrate now we have to celebrate and have this running negative commentary from these people who just keep on trying to poo poo all over our parade literally well there, there um, was- there was uh, something somebody pointed out to me last year that I said, yeah, that's probably not the best idea. They had a, because uh, you know how we shut down Bank Street here for Pride in Ottawa. Uh, there was, uh, and they have all these booths out. First, there, there's like tons of stuff. There's information booths, there's sexual health booths, there's uh, clothing there's all kinds of stuff that you can purchase from the one thing that they had that was oh maybe that was not the best idea was the dildo ring toss which Mm. i say not the best idea because people you know bring their kids and i'm like oh maybe that the optics on that aren't great yep Yep. and and we're not we're not talking just a a a peg that you can toss the ring on we're talking an actual phallus again maybe not the best idea yeah there's well yes Every now and then there's a couple of those. Like I remember the whole uh, uh, defending trans uh, kids mm-hmm. rally where people were talking about people sexualizing children and then they're playing Alanis Morissette's You Ought to Know. It's like you do realize that song contains the line and are you thinking of me while you fuck her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You might have wanted to, you, you ought to know it. You ought to have known to pick another song. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes not the most judicious choices are made. Uh, but, you know, like I said, uh, at an all adult mm. pride event with no kids, uh, the dildo That's ring fun. toss is yeah, 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 fun. It's just good, clean fun. Oh, yeah. No, no, <laughs> agreed, agreed. But this is like on a Context. Sunday afternoon yes. on Bank Street, and there's lots of children out. I'm like, yeah. Oof. yeah. Yep, it, it, it is probably, I mean, there's, there's nothing illegal, immoral, or fattening about it, but. No. Maybe maybe, maybe not, not best off. <laughs> That's maybe all. Not. <laughs> I'm not dumping on anybody, don't no, get me no. wrong. It, it's, it's not the best game if you don't want to draw a certain amount of attention. If you're going to put that game up, you, it's like, you're free to do it. Just realize that you, know, you are going to get comments. <laughs> so. Um, but yes, uh, we're at the season. Uh, it seems that, um, uh, in Winnipeg, uh, somebody had told me, but unfortunately, because my screens are frozen, uh, I can't uh, go, go check. Uh, but that the parade in Winnipeg had been held up, uh, for a few minutes, uh, at some point. Uh, I can't, don't know what the reason is. I think, uh, Kit Cassie, if, uh, they're in the chat, uh, they might be able to say so. Uh, what was going on at that time. Um, so yeah, already uh, things are starting. And, and you know what? We've seen worse mm. as a community. We haven't seen... Um, it's the thing with social media, right? It's so much of it and it's amplified it. It's all the time. And, you know, it's like anytime you want to go on social media to do anything, you know, to celebrate it, it's right there. Like it's as you are trying to, you know, have joy and share joy, somebody's serving you up a plate of poop. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so it, it takes some doing, you know, to just like put your head down and live your best life and be fabulous uh, while all that is going on. Uh, but, you know, uh, pay them as little mind as possible and you don't have to respond to everything. You know, if you've got a, you know, a sassy line that you want to throw, that's fine. But uh, just let the babies cry themselves out. Yeah. Just let the bit, uh, you've got way too much t- to do with your time. Plus, you know, you got to spend all that time getting your look just right. Right. To, uh, 
be able to, you know, deal with them and let them live in your head. They're going to cry every year on schedule from now on. It's just how the game is played. So just let them cry themselves out. Let them cry themselves out. Um, the thing that was interesting about the guy uh, that posted, well, the blue checkmark bullshitter account that posted this thing about exposing uh, pride events are going to expose kids to mm -hmm. like, genitals and all that kind of stuff. Uh, is they were using photos from the naked bike rally. Yes, which is right. not a pride thing, or not not a pride thing whatsoever. Or, not exclusively or, gay, although there is a there, heavy, there is a pretty good gay contingent that participates in that. Yes, uh, I guess uh, with pictures mm -hmm. of children walking through, people talking, uh, people at the bike rally who are naked, I guess with genitals out, and he didn't blur them. So as he's complaining that all these gay perverts are going to be walking walking down the street naked like this corrupting these children like this whose parents brought them there so clearly the parents are probably okay with public nudity right so, uh, so this guy's doing so that do, doing while the, this uh, guy is actually card, basically yeah he's actually posting pictures mm. of men who are naked mm -hmm. this on social media where kids can find them These are the people we're dealing with. These are also the people in our neighborhood, mm -hmm. in our neighborhood. Uh, yeah. So this is going on, uh, and it created uh, an opportunity uh, for, again, um, now, here's the thing. I don't know if this is just an accident thing that happened and it created an opportunity, or this was actually planned. But mm -hmm. MC Homo Milk Arnold Dearson went mm -hmm. on a podcast hosted by Nathan uh, Nathaniel Erskine yeah. Smith, I guess. And then, you know. I haven't listened to the whole thing yet. But I, I haven't listened to the thing all the thing yet. But said the things that we know that Arnold Dearson will say. None mm -hmm. of this is a mystery. He's been like this for, for, you know, ever since. He's been open about this ever since he's been an MP. But right? he was scolded by the leader. <laughs> well, now, here's my thing. The scolded by the leader part. Now it could very well be, because Nate is who Nate is. Mm -hmm. You know, he's pretty independent. Mm -hmm. Had Arnold in, wanted to have that conversation. Arnold said what he was going to say, like and they've worked together. Was going committee. to say, yeah, and they worked together on committee. Um, you know, and it went out like this. Or I know that PP is a bit of a control freak, so. I don't know if things are such in conservative land yet that uh, MP Verson would have to clear with PP and the staff an appearance on Nate's show before mm -hmm. going. Now, if that is the case, this, well, could be very well. Well, if he asks you about this, then please say that, which creates an opportunity for me to come out and really smack that down. So. After he got scolded, he put out these statements that says, well, you know, I say these and these are my views, but they do not reflect the leader, and none of the leader, and none of the leader, and blah, 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 the leader. And for some reason, now they're talking to them, talking about them, referring to them, to him as the leader all the time. Rachel Thomas did that, too, in that uh, CBC clip where she got stuck. I guess she went, went out a little too far and went off script and didn't know how to get back on, so she just mm -hmm. decided to remain silent. And then just say, I, I, I side with my leader or something. Um, the, yeah, the use of leader instead of his name is a little weird. Um, yeah, I thought so too. Yeah. But anyway, hey. Maybe maybe because the leader is actually Stephen Harper? Maybe. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> Good catch. Uh, but he came out uh, and made this unequivocal statement, uh, you know, that, uh, and again, unfortunately, I don't have it here <laughs> with me. Uh, but a full just blast statement stating that, you know, this was not an issue. He tried to close the door on it completely um 
here we go. Pierre Poitier disagrees with conservative MP, wants to vote against same-sex marriage in CBC uh, article. Here I've got. And in a media statement issued Monday, Poliev said, now, again, in a media statement, so we still don't have video of him saying it. Mm-hmm. But in it, but it's, I'd have to see, I'm going to guess it's, the, I'm going to guess this one was issued by the party, though, however, and not through Brian Lilly or something. But in a media statement issued Monday, Poliev said, Vierson's statements and positions, quote, do not represent the positions of the Conservative Party or myself as leader. As our party's policy book adopted by party members has said for years, a conservative government will not support any legislation to regulate abortion. When I am prime minister, no laws or rules will be passed that restrict women's reproductive choices, period. Notice the wording. Mm -hmm. When I am prime minister, not Mm -hmm. if. As for same-sex marriage, Polyev said, quote, Canadians are free to love and marry who they choose. Same-sex marriage is legal and it will remain legal when I am prime minister, comma, full stop. I will lead a small government that minds its own business, letting people make their own decisions about their love lives, their families, their bodies, their speech, their beliefs, and their money. We will put people back in charge of their lives in the freest country of the world. So we had a period and we had a full stop and we had two when I am prime ministers. And, you know, you can't get a more no wiggle room statement. So he's really, 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 really trying to put this to bed. The problem that he has, however, no matter how many times he says this, is that the Liberal Party, with the current leader, has literally told its MPs, before they ran, you are free to believe whatever whatever it is that you believe. Mm Mm-hmm. But as a member of this party, if you get elected, if you sit as a member of our caucus, when it comes time to vote, when it comes time to vote, regardless of what you believe on matters of choice and matters of same-sex marriage, you are voting this way. It's a whipped vote. And if you're not okay with that, then you can't be part of this party. And Poliev won't take that step. Of course not. And that's the crux. Every time you hear these conservatives and all their minions going on, going, oh my God, liberals are complaining about abortion again. No, 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 no. It's because somebody from the conservative side has raised it first. And the other side is being vigilant. Because Pierre will not go all the way. He says they will never support it, his government will never pass it, but he doesn't stop the private member's bills. There are no consequences for going to speak at the campaign life rally. Of course not. He still wants the donations, he still takes the meetings of the campaign life coalition. So now he'll take the money. Maybe he drove, maybe he's just driven a whole bunch of people into the arms of the PPC and Max Bernier here. Mm, I think he has actually. By being that unequivocal. Because the extreme right wing don't find him extreme enough. No. I mean, before, before the PPC came along, the conservatives could do this. Promise the world to the anti-choice movement. Mm -hmm. and then never deliver because who the hell else were they going to vote for, right? Now they have an option. (sighs) It's not like the conservatives don't know that that vote is mobile because they spent so much time trying to court it over the past few decades. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But PP seems to have uh, seems to think that he needs to make a big point of putting his foot down and at least uh, to have a mom and dad in a suburban Brampton think that he's not going to come for those things, mm-hmm. regardless of whether or not he is. But we all know those of us are paying real attention. We know he won't go all the way. He knows when push comes to shove, he'll let us get shoved. Oh yeah. 
Well, the, the, the one other thing we didn't don't have time to address today because we've got to wrap up now. I've got to get into the office. But see, um, the big headline, MPs wittingly took yes. part in foreign interference from the national security. Nisikov said soon after they were elected, some Canadian members of parliament began wittingly assisting foreign state actors. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the term witting. Thank you. I'll get you the dictionary description of it. Um, the meaning of witting is knowledge or awareness of something. Cognizance. How to use witting in a sentence is, let's just see, come on, open it up. Uh, done deliberately, intentional, conscious. Basically, she was a witting partner. He had told her about the risk involved. Your witting assistance in helping the robber escape makes you an accessory after the fact. So these were people who were willingly uh, committed to this foreign interference act and there was a number of them we don't know who they are yes they had the privilege of having their names publicly redacted from the report for some reason yeah so and we don't know who they are whoever they are whichever party they're from they need to be called out now do they need you know by the party censured probably booted uh, from caucus I, look man if you're if i don't care what party you're from if you're assisting a foreign nation to try and, I don't know, rig an election or, or change policy in Canada, you gots to go. You gots to go. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get what you, uh, you're you calling for, Mr. Grizzly, because Public Safety Minister Dominique LeBlanc's first comments were, I don't think it serves to comment on a specific individual or allegation around a specific circumstance. The report will be an important part of our continued effort to evolve and strengthen measures to protect Canadians. Um, I vehemently disagree if we have yes. people that are elected right now, sitting in government seats right now, putting other countries' priorities above our own. We have an election coming up, and we definitely have a right to know who, who they are to decide whether yes. or not we still want them to be in those seats. That that, that guess, makes me call into question. And, yeah. And, hear me out on this, are these members of the Liberal Party? Because I'm that's sure the party there, that's in power. I'm sure that there are some members yeah. of the Liberal Party, but the thing is, is that there's probably members from a whole bunch of parties. Oh, yes. This is what this. I'm thinking. Or at least, well, at least two, maybe even three. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, the, you know, the witting part is... Uh, that's the disturbing part. The witting, like, in this whole era where everybody's yelling and screaming trees in every chance we get, I'm not going to say treason, treason, but if we have witting collaborators mm -hmm. or witting people acting as foreign agents, when their only job is supposed to be serving our interests, yeah, we have a problem. A big problem. And it big says big that uh, some of these actions may even have been criminal, but it looks like there's very little chances of criminal charges because there's a lack of some type of mechanism. Um, we don't need a mechanism. There's a crime, you have it investigated, and you charge it. So we're getting a lot of gobbledygook right off the bat, which gives me the impression that um, uh, and if we don't see uh, the law and order conservatives jumping up and down to demand that these people be rooted out, then we know, we know it spans at least two parties. And if Mr. Singh doesn't say anything, then it probably, chances, probably spans three. Yes, well... Here's, I'll read a quick uh, blurb and then we got to wrap up. If it found Canada's overall response to meddling attempts has been inadequate and troubling intelligence suggests some parliamentarians participated in efforts by other countries to interfere in Canadian politics. The report cite what it says is a particularly concerning case of an unnamed MP who maintained a relationship with a foreign intel officer. It says the then member of parliament sought to arrange a meeting with a senior intel office official in another country and proactively gave the intel office Officer, information that was provided in confidence. So this is really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, yeah, and the other reason this needs to be public is where we need to know is like if we know who they are, whether or not the party will sign the nomination papers again. Mm -hmm. Especially if they're incumbents. It seems that this person here in question was probably not an MP anymore, given that it said then. Yes. But um, yeah. Either way, it's very disturbing. Yeah. We'll talk more about this tonight if, uh, if we're doing a pre-record. Yeah, we should be able to record something this evening. Yeah, Let's yeah. wrap up. Got to go. right. get out of here. All right, Kids and Cubs, that's the end of this episode of the Daily Beaver Morning Show. We hope that you love listening to us because we love making this for you. Remember that sharing is caring and word of mouth is priceless, so please tell your peeps and poops all about us. 
Uh, I do not know if I'm still on screen. Yeah, you Am are. I, Mr. Grizzly? Okay, because yeah. all my screens just changed. Oh, now I can finally see you as we're ending the show. There we go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you do not want to miss an episode, you don't have to, thanks to the Ray Girl. You just scan that QR code that's right below my chin. That brings you to our pod page. That's podpage.com slash the true North Eager Beaver. Lowercase letters with a hyphen between each one of those words. And uh, when you click there, when we have something fresh off the bandwidth, it comes directly to you and if you'd like to support us in other ways well then you need to make like kit lane and go to the true north eager beaver youtube media ch channel and click on our buttons like share subscribe we like it when you click us and thank you to all the people who have subscribed over the weekend and uh, yesterday as well the numbers mm -hmm. are going thank you for the advertising mr grizzly it seems to have uh, really done well our goal is 1000 by canada day so uh if you are uh, listening and you can help us get there and you haven't subscribed yet, please walk on over and uh, do it or surf on over, I should say, and uh, do that. That would help us a lot. Uh, and if you'd like to support us in other ways, the QR code that's right by Mr. Grizzly's head right now uh, brings you to our coffee page. And that's uh, coffee, ko-fi.com slash eager beaver, lowercase letters, all in one word. And that's where you can find our tip jar if you like our product and you would like to encourage us to do more. And uh, you would like to, you know, baby, hey, just buy us a coffee or a hot chocolate to help us get through the day. We would appreciate that very much. And you can do that there. We thank you very much. You know, the gift of your attention is the one we cherish the most, and we love to hear from you. So if you would like to write to us, we're at TrueNorthEagerBeaver at gmail.com. And uh, you can write to us also on our Twitter feed at TrueEager, our Facebook page, TrueNorthEagerBeaver. We love to hear for you from you, or uh, even leave a comment on our YouTube page. Because democracy is something that you do. If you live in Alberta, get involved in the NDP leadership race. If you live in BC, Saskatchewan, or New Brunswick, start getting ready uh, for the provincial elections. Maybe you want to volunteer at a polling station. It's a wonderful experience. Mr. Grizzly, do you have some words of wisdom? Take it minute by minute. Uh, when you're going through a rough patch like I am right now, just remember to breathe and get through it. One foot in front of the other, one minute after the other. As time moves on, things will get better. So just hold on. We'll be okay. And I will resist the urge to break into a course of Wilson Phillips right now. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I so want to. <laughs> From the Beaver Lodge, it could be a tough world out there. So please be kind to and uh, gentle with yourselves. Uh, good luck with your move, Jen. And uh, the kids tell us we hit 850, Mr. Grizzly. So yay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Cue the cock. You are listening to a True North Eager Beaver Media Incorporated podcast. The True North Eager Beaver podcasts are proudly brought to you by our founding sponsors. The Misfy Mysteries from Corvid Moon Publishing, your source for science fiction, fantasy, and cozy mysteries featuring a broad diversity of characters. CanadianTarot.com, their uniquely Canadian online eclectic tarot community, and The Peppermaster. Hot pepper sauces made from farm fresh ingredients to thrill your taste buds and expand your mind. We are grateful to the Cryer Media Network for its support, Pete Jarvis for our artwork, and Paul Joseph Something for our opening and closing sequence music.